So this morning, just take a quick look at the uh, lithium iron cells I've brought. These are lithium iron uh, phosphate, and these are gonna be for the 7.5-ish kilowatt hour pack for the lithium CRZ, the buddy pack. So this will pack will run, uh, this will be voltage matched to the OEM pack and it will run alongside that uh, and I can add or take away odd cells if I need to move the voltage up or down very slightly if it doesn't match perfectly. So I've got one cell here uh, on charge at the moment. I'm just bringing it up to full. Then I'm going to put that on the load tester and capacity tester just to uh, check its capacity. So I've got quite a lot of characterization to do. I've got to charge all the cells. Uh, match them all up voltage wise and discharge test it each one see capacities etc and then basically uh, assemble myself a pack of 48 uh, that match and I've got a few spares here which I can fiddle around with and swap in and out depending on uh, the sort of capacities etc and the um, work of these ones here so just as a matter of interest each cell weighs uh, approximately 1.3 kilos I'm gonna have 48 so that's going to take us up to about 70 or 80 kilos, about having a passenger basically in the boot, basically. I've got a spreadsheet here of the starting voltages and I shall update that uh, with the capacities, etc. for each cell because I've uh, numbered them all and identified they've all got a unique ID now. So I can basically just characterise them and uh, go from there. So they've got to fit into a certain amount of space. So we've got the polystyrene piece here, which we know. So I want them to fit into this area. So I've drawn around the outline of the polystyrene piece on my worktop here. So basically I'm gonna make a pack that's going to fit inside this available space. And uh, hopefully we can get that in the back of the car. There are quite a lot of cells uh, and it is quite big. And um, it, I think it'll be, a, it'll be a squeeze, but I think I will uh, get them in. Uh, well, we'll have a look at that, obviously in due course, as you know, um, I'm going to be on hold for a few weeks while I'm away and then I'm going to use a, an Orion 2 BMS if I can find it yeah I've got an Orion 2 um, commercial BMS um, kicking around I can't find it at the minute it's in one of my boxes somewhere and uh, that's a 60S BMS so it's going to be fine for my 48 cells here so I'm going to use that and that's a quite a capable BMS and that should be able to keep a close eye on these cells when they're in use in the car. And I'm probably only gonna use them between like 10 and 80% state of charge or 10 and 90% state of charge. Probably won't be using the full pack capacity unless I absolutely need to. So that's where we are, just testing, characterizing, charging, load testing the various cells and I'll start putting it back together when I get back from holiday.